Yes, it was enjoyable, educational, and hard to put down. I don't know, I just saw that review on the back. I agree. music in here because that's all copywritten and I am poor and don't want to fight those lawsuits but what you do get is a dramatic sunglasses reveal and that is because this week I read Mark Favreau's Spies the secret showdown between America and Russia and it is another nonfiction book it is a teen book but I didn't realize until halfway through because it was just so captivating and informative that I didn't even care until I like was pulling it out of my bag and I was like what's that sticker so don't let that deter you don't think that it's like written targeted for children I'm not a child despite my inability to film YouTube videos <laughs> but this book was super enjoyable super informative and it gave a really good insight into the espionage aspect of the Cold War, which I think is super important because I feel like it's often overlooked. We mostly just kind of think about the Berlin Wall and the space race and the nuclear arms race, but we don't always think about all of the super sneaky spy stuff that happened behind the scenes to make all of those uh, major events um, memorable and happen and be written down in the history books. But more than that, it also, I think, gives a really good um, timeline and explanation regarding the CIA's creation in the United States. So it was only founded in 1947, which makes it a baby compared to a lot of other international espionage organizations, especially the, K well, the former KGB, which this book largely focuses on since it's about America and Russia. Um, but anyway, it's super clear that Favreau did a ton of research, he did a ton of interviews and whatnot for writing this book, and I really appreciate that. Um, I did find myself a few times Wikipediaing, if that's a verb, and it is now, um, some of the people that he mentions in the book, such as the Cambridge Circle, um, which are a bunch of double crossers, and that's not cool. Um, but yeah, it was super interesting and informative and I really enjoyed it. It was a super quick read. Um, and I think books like this are important because it gives us a way to look at current events as they unfold now. And I say that just because, especially since 2020 is an election year and all the mysteriousness around the Mueller investigation and the impeachment hearings and everything else that's been going on, Russia's been further to the forefront of our American minds than they have been in a while. Um, and also, it's just someone who loves anything spy related, whether that's James Bond, Mission Impossible, shoot, you can even get all like dorky and look at like Scooby-Doo or something. It's super fun because I don't know about y'all, but seeing that when I was a kid, it made me want to be a spy. <laughs> I'd be terrible but I can live vicariously through the people described in this book, which I think was also an interesting touch because it's not just like your typical textbook account of espionage that happened during the Cold War. It gives a few individual anecdotes of like individual um, people involved, like Gary Powers, the U-2 pilot that was downed over the USSR and his whole trial and whatnot. But it also kind of talks about um, whole events and operations, like the arguably failed operation where um, allied spies were tapping into Soviet transmissions under Berlin, but spoiler alert, they basically knew the whole time thanks to a mole in the agency. Um, but yeah, so I think it was a super interesting read. I thought it definitely satiated my childhood love of spying and all of that stuff and it was just really fun and really informative and I think that's something that 
I look for, especially in nonfiction books, is learning but not being bored by it. And I was certainly never bored. I never fell asleep or anything during reading this book. Uh, so I definitely recommend if you are into history, if you're into spying, even if you want just kind of an easy read that isn't nonsense and, um, well, fiction. Speaking of fiction, next week I will be reading Rafi Middlefelt's What Makes Us. Um, gonna be honest, I judged a book by a cover. I was attracted by the pretty, pretty colors on this book. But um, the back and the inside cover promise um, some exciting stuff, and I'm really excited to check it out and share my thoughts about it with you guys. So thank you again so much for watching, and be sure to check out my blog. The link will be down below, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Okay, bye!